For today's second video, we got some more Ghost Recon Wildlands. And in this one, I'm gonna be sharing with you all all the tips that I came across while doing this week's live season challenges. Starting off with the first solo challenge, you're gonna have to change your difficulty to extreme if it's not on that already. Start the mission called The Hospital, which is in Okoro, and then fast travel to the Okoro Bravo safe house. And you're gonna have to complete this mission only using explosives. Now your first objective is to talk to the rebel doctor. And as soon as you get done talking to him, there's gonna be some Santa Blanca vehicles pulling up. And basically you're gonna have to defend the doctor. And again, you can only use explosives. And basically the method I used was I placed down mines on the road where the Santa Blanca vehicles pulled up. And I also used my grenade launcher as well. And this was a really quick and easy mission to complete. As a matter of fact, I was able to complete all three solo challenges on the very first attempt. One thing I should point out though, is that the first vehicle is gonna pull in from the left side. So uh, you can try laying down a mine over there if you're quick enough, but I think it would probably be better if you used your grenade launcher on that first vehicle and just place your mines on the other side. A couple of other things you can do uh, you can also call in your guns for hire or your diversion to help you out because again you can only use your explosives but yeah just place down some mines near the entrances on both the left and the right side and you should be able to complete this mission within about two to three minutes but yeah that's pretty much the strategy that i used i placed down a couple of mines i used my grenade launchers also towards the end of the mission there's going to be a santa blanca helicopter that's going to fly in and you can take him out with your grenade launcher and yeah this was a really easy mission to complete again if there's any tips that i don't mention that you all used be sure to let us know in the comments below but yeah that pretty much sums up the tips that i used for this first solo challenge i placed down mines and i used my grenade launcher and you can also use your guns for hire and diversion skills as well now for the second solo challenge you're gonna have to keep your difficulty on extreme and then start the mission called full load from your map and then fast travel to the Maniac Bravo safe house. And I believe it only took me around two minutes to complete this mission. Uh, basically what I did was as soon as I got there from the east, I pulled out my drone and used the spotting feature. And I also sync shot it a couple of the enemies that were near me. There's gonna be a couple of snipers, one of them being on the cliff. And I went ahead and sync shot at those enemies. The next thing I did after that was I shot the alarm because I didn't want reinforcements to show up. And then once I shot the alarm, I went ahead and called in a diversion on the other side of this base. And once I did all of those things, I went ahead and started destroying the mortar shell crates. And you have to destroy a total of four of them. And the way that I did it was I used my drone on the first one that was in this little bunker. So yeah, I used my explosive drone on the first mortar shell crate. And then I used my grenade launchers to destroy two of the shell crates that were outside. One of them being near this mortar over here. And the next one was also near the mortar as well. Again, just shoot your grenade launchers uh, near both of those arrows that are pointing down and you should be able to destroy them. And for the last mortar shell, I'll put out my explosive drone and used it to destroy the last one. And again, I was able to complete this mission in about two, two and a half minutes. So that's pretty much the strategy I used for the second solo challenge. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Now for the third solo challenge, you're gonna have to keep it on extreme difficulty, start the mission called Kilisisa Coca Farm, and then fast travel to the Tabacal Charlie safe house. And in order to complete this challenge, you're gonna have to get all of your kills from at least 200 meters away. And the method that I use for this one is as soon as I got there, I used my spotting feature. I then went ahead and sink shot at three of the enemies that were there. And I also called in the diversion that was near a large group of the enemies. And basically what I did was I sink shot at most of the enemies that were there. And I let the rebels from my diversion skill take out the rest of the enemies. And using that method, I was able to easily complete this third solo challenge. Again, if you do plan on killing enemies yourself, make sure you're at least 200 meters away. But if you're trying to make it as easy as possible, then just sink shot the enemies that are on this farm and use your rebel op skills to take out the rest of the enemies. And yeah, with that being said, this was probably one of the easiest live season challenges we've had in a while. And again, if there's any tips that I didn't mention, be sure to let us know in the comments below so everyone can see. Anyways, that pretty much sums it up for the live season solo challenges. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a good spot to complete this week's task force and community challenges. Now for the task force challenge, you're gonna have to go to any production province 
keep your difficulty on extreme and get 50 headshots on Santa Blanca soldiers. And you're also gonna have to do the same thing for the community challenge. Uh, go to any production province, perform headshots on Santa Blanca soldiers. And for the PS4, we're gonna have to get a total of 300,000 headshots. So for the method I'm about to show you for the task force challenge, you can also use it for this week's community challenge. But yeah, basically what I did was I started the mission called El Emisario, which is an Okoro, a production province. And for those who don't know, there's going to be about a dozen or so Santa Blanca soldiers, as well as a few Unidad soldiers as well. But again, for the task force and community challenge, you only have to get headshots on Santa Blanca soldiers. Anyways, as soon as I got to the location where the mission begins, I pulled out my drone and used the spotting feature. And you're probably also going to want to use a sniper rifle to help you get those headshots a little bit easier. And from there, all you have to do is just try to get headshots on Santa Blanca soldiers, preferably the ones that are by themselves first. And then after you take them out, you can try to get some headshots on some of the other Santa Blanca soldiers. I should point out though that once they get alerted, usually the Unidad and the Santa Blanca soldiers start shooting at each other. And usually the Santa Blanca soldiers get killed first. As soon as all of the Santa Blanca soldiers get killed or you don't have any left that you can get headshots on, go ahead and fast travel to the nearest location and then come back to this mission and do the same thing over again. And every time I use this method, I got somewhere between five and six headshots. So you're probably going to have to fast travel around nine to ten times. But yeah, that was the method that I used for this week's task force and community challenge. Let me know if y'all know of any other locations that are good for getting Santa Blanca soldier headshots. Anyways, once you complete the task force challenge, you're going to get the tier one booster. If we're able to complete this week's community challenge, we're going to get the stars patch. And once you complete the solo challenges, you're going to get this bandana. And there's a couple different colors to this bandana. You have like a white and black colored bandana, and you can also change it to a camo colored bandana as well. Anyways, guys, that'll do it for this one. If y'all enjoyed it or found it useful, don't forget to do what you do. I'm A1. Thanks for watching.